most of you either have the skill or you have the story, but some of you, many of you, don't have both. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have both. You gotta have, you gotta, you have to have a good story and you gotta know how to tell it. And then the story's gotta be something that somebody else wants to read. And that's the hard part to figure out. So you don't try. You just write your story as best you can and do it. My generation, when I went to college, they did not teach creative writing. It wasn't in the curriculum. Sorry, they taught you how to read. Didn't teach you how to write. I could tell you everything you need to know about Ernest Hemingway and his use of symbolism and ver. I, 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 I know that. <clears throat> we know how to read. So let me tell you this story. I, I said I've been coming here for about 10 years, and I came here with a book and an, an advanced read. You know, I sent it in. And I didn't know. <clears throat> I was in a critique group, and this guy said, you ought to go to this conference. And I said, oh, OK, I'll go there, because I was retired and had the time and a little bit of money left over. And so I came, and, and the book went to, a, and I didn't know who to send it to. I read the list of names of guys, people that are here. I didn't recognize Tom Clancy wasn't on that list. <laughs> John D. McDonald was, I, nobody I read was on that list. And I thought, what kind of conference is that? There's nobody here that writes books that I knew about. So I called, I made a call. And, and Michael Stephen Gregory answered the phone, which is weird, you know. I thought, you know, he's in charge. And I told him my story. I said, I have this book, and I told him what it's about. And he said, hmm, I think you ought to give it to Ray Strait. And so I said, okay, I didn't know Ray Strait. And you don't know Ray Strait. Some of you do, but most of you don't. So I go to this advanced critique. I'm standing outside of Ray Strait's hotel room, and I hear him uh, talking to this guy who was in there before me. And he wasn't getting a really good, I mean, he was OK, but he was telling, you know, you got to do this, and there's a lot of work here. And I thought, oh, God, I don't, I don't know if I want to get in there because I don't know anything. I don't know anything, but I'm pretty sure this is crap that he's got in front of him, and because I don't know. And so he says, all right, we're done. And I'm gonna get at this guy, he's the next guy. I got, I got to talk to him. I was, oh shit, I'm going home. <laughs> so I went in and he said, you've got a bestseller here. He was wrong. <laughs> it wasn't even a good seller, but but it kept me coming back. And because I kept coming back, I finally learned how to write. I learned how to write here at this conference. The first one was San Diego 16. I still have the little name badge left over. And when LA, the first Los Angeles one, I went to that. And I went to Palm Springs, and I came back here, and I kept coming back and coming back, and over a, fear, a short period of time, I learned how to write a book. I learned it here. I used to do scientific writing, and that's all passive voice. One of the hardest things I had to do is get out of passive voice. We used to write things like um, the experimental mice were sacrificed with cervical fraction, fracture which means we broke their necks. That's what it means. But you can't write that. We broke the, the little mice's necks. Sounds bad. Cervical fracture. Oh, that's so much nicer. So anyway, <clears throat> I had to learn how to get out of the passive voice, among other things. And I had to learn what point of view was. I had no idea. I had no idea. None. You got to learn that someplace. And I learned it here. And that's why I keep coming back and coming back.